A gain of five. Brady, Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up the throw. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. Complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. First Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Second and Brady's throw complete there to Evans. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one on one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man to man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team him somehow. I'm going to have to make some. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid, the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. Thank you. But here's the thing for me. I'm just wondering if their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. They'll run for the first time with Sony Michelle. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They'll run with Michelle. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Third down and four. Now Newton. And he'll have his man. That's Adelman. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. 33-yard line. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Devin White coming in hard there on the blitz. And he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Escaping the pressure right. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. 21 yard line. Now Michelle. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Muck them down for a win in the defense's column. Michelle again. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Slant route, caught by Edelman. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Cam Newton with a touchdown pass to Julian Edelman. And the Pats have taken the early lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. But no matter your experience level as a quarterback, if you throw an interception on that first drive, maybe a little shaken up. Nice response there to get their first first down. I think you make an excellent point. I don't care who you are. You throw an interception, it's going to get to you a little bit. But the ones that we've seen that are the best, you never notice them. They don't come to the bench, throw their helmets. They don't do any of that. They just go back out the next drive, and act like it never happened. And that's what we're seeing here. There's Evans again, complete. 
And he's got this down to the 35. Mike Evans. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Brady on target there to Godwin. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Tampa Bay. Brady now on first down. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. That catch good for only a couple. Maximum effort partner. Minimal gain. Yeah, minimal gain. Looked good, though. 19-yard line. On second down, here's Fournette. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and 10. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 10 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. And the Buccaneer first down. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Fournette running out of the gun. And he'll get two or three out of that one, as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. This will be play number nine of the drive here, as they need four yards on third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And it's caught! And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It'll be a gain of four. And that's going to make it fourth down. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. They'll go with Jones. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the two-yard line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. From the end zone, Newton. And that'll be incomplete. Newton. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. to throw from his end zone. Newton in trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And this will be scooped up in the end zone. A defender gets there, and it's a touchdown. That's something you have to be wary of on your side of the field, that close to the goal line. The defense, they are looking for that football. They got it. They scored it. You're so right, and the quarterback has to speed things up himself. So close to the goal line, they're going to get after you. Make sure you get rid of the football and in a safe place. Extra point put through by Suckham. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive. Then suddenly the fumble, and you're under a heavy run. 
Aggression, down he goes. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. To try again after the sack. Newton. And on the connection, this is Ryan Izzo complete. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. To throw is Newton. This is White on the screen. He'll have a first down past the 40 and all the way up to the 46. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. On first down, Newton. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Ryan Izzo, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. 20. Throwing again. Newton. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big play there for the Patriots. 35 yards. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you gotta make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you gotta be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 26. And he'll hand this to Michelle to get things started. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. A loss of two. Brings up second and On second and 12. Newton. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Shaquille Barrett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The 18-yard line. Third and long, it's Newton. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. And that makes it 14-10. Makes the score Buccaneers 14, Patriots 10. Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa Bay. And this is secured by the Patriots. And that's why you have your hand team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. 
And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. He was looking for Gronk that time, and that'll bring up second down. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line. To throw again, Brady. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. John Simon that time coming through to make the play. The sack backs him up third and long. Tough challenge for Brady in the box. Here's Brady. He's got Evans. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Now Jones. And the Bucs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Just shy of the goal. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones taking it in. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And now Coach Bruce Arians has made the call. His guys will go for two. To throw is Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Their own 19 yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 49 yards. down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. First and goal at the 7-yard line. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And yeah, the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? From the gun, here's Newton. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Sony Michelle there to make the grab. And the Patriots are back within a score. The extra point. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Bucks.
Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum is sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. At the 30 yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second down and five. Now Brady. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trip to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time. And now it's first and 10. down, Buccaneers. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. He's there to stop him, Jawan Bentley. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 48 yards. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The big back Leonard Fournette able to push his way in from a yard out as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does because after that big play, I think resistance. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. And this is secured by the Patriots. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On first and 10, Newton. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes it can prove risky there at work down. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Over first and 10. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run? Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Dietrich Wise able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up the throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Brady going to go on fourth down. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Now a first down carry by Jones. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Tackle me. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Again, it's Jones. And shutting him off, now open field. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to GG, bro. That's game over, bro. Can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after game over. On first down, Jones. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. You don't want to waste it. Brought down at the 23-yard line. A three-yard pickup. Brings up and that will get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Back to throw, Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And I tell you what, they were big favorites coming in, but they had to work for this one. Yeah, it certainly wasn't the walk in the park that you expected coming into this one. I have a suspicion that in their meetings next week, Head coach going to talk to him a little bit about focus, don't you think? Yeah, because down the stretch, there was some nail-biting going on. And, and you're right. I think not only the fans, but those folks inside that locker room, they expected a comfortable victory. Yeah, they certainly did. And that just tells you about the NFL. Any given game, you never know how it's going to turn out. You'd better be ready to play. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL.